Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. Today in this video I'll be showing you how you can extract some of the code which can be a little bit more complex to write into a blade directive. First of all let me show you what we are going to do. So here guys I have just this toggle button and if I click here it is showing me this drop down which has a little bit of animation. If I click on it and it will hide it with a little bit of animation as well. And I have taken this example from this Alpine JS documentation from here. You can see here guys the code is over here and let's say if you want to do this kind of animation again in other part of your project then you just don't want to write all these things again and again. So now let me show you a trick how we can do that using blade directive. So guys if you see here in the documentation extending blade. So if you see here the code over here we can just extend the blade directive or create a new blade directive by using this code. So now let us create a new blade directive and let us extract all these X transition kind of code into that directive. So let us create Alpine fade. Also guys I am using Tailwind CSS here. All these classes are from Tailwind CSS. Now let me go to the app service provider guys. Now we can create that over here. So let me just copy this code from the documentation and paste it over here like this. And we don't want any parameters okay. We will just remove this and here we will return this as a string since it is only a string we can echo it over here using php and it will work the same way so let me copy this and let me paste it over here so like this so let me multi select them and let me add them to the same line like this and separate each of them with a single space over here now i can just assign it to a variable by making it a single string so let's say here str and now guys we have to just return it okay from here also let me give semicolon over here and we want to return dollar str from here and since it is a string we need to wrap it within quote since we are using the double quote outside so we'll use single quote inside like this okay and instead of date time let's say here alpine fade like this now we can use it over here like this so instead of all these We'll just write here at the rate alpine fade. Now if I come here and refresh the page and if I show you guys here in the source code here control U. So here you can see here guys the code is like this. So before so let me show you before and after. So before the code was like this if you see here like this and now the code is like this all of them were in a separate line but just the difference is that they are on the same line but the code is same over here okay and now if i come here and refresh the page and if i click on the toggle now you can see here guys everything is working the same way now let's say guys you want the same kind of animation same this animation in any other pages then you can just write this alpine fade and just you can and just relax so guys i am just showing you an example but this can open a lot of possibilities. You can use same logic or technique to extract some other complex logic and embed it into a blade directive and use that. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.